ball game uh, tonight by Talbot. You know, he was uh, uh, good with his sinker and his cutter. Uh, he really was getting into those left-handed hitters and uh, used both sides of the plate. Um, set the tone for us, and we, you know, Bal Balbuena um, had the big hit against Burley, which basically um, just gave us uh, some breathing room there. We felt like we finally could sc score some runs off of him, and then we took advantage of uh, some mistakes uh, later on and scored three more runs. Did he seem a lot more in control, obviously, from, from Detroit last week? I mean, did, you know, obviously he didn't get in trouble with the walks. and. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, you know, he was uh, he pounded the strike zone the whole night. He had good velocity, too. Even at the end of the game, he was uh, going in the low 90s. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he, felt, he looked like he was more downhill. Uh, he was throwing the ball downhill with good angle to it. And they never got in trouble uh, with, the, with the walk. So that was very good. And, very nice one walk in the last 18 innings. You know, we needed that. Back to back complete games. It's good for the bullpen, too. Uh, yeah, it's it's good for the team uh, to win. I think we we do have a couple of guys that have a pitch now in, in, uh, in five days. But, you know, we have to win. That's uh, what we're all here for, and uh, they understand that. <clears throat> the pop in Louis' bat, I mean, is that something you expect a little bit of from him? Well, yeah, it, it's there. I mean, it was uh, very impressive that he hit 25 doubles at the moment last year here, and, uh, and not even it wasn't even up here the whole season. So we know he's got that extra base pop in there, and uh, uh, he, he had gotten a couple of good ones for us so far. Penny, in that sixth inning, it, it could have gone the other way for Talbot and the team. They they got that run on the air. They had a guy at third with, with a one out, two really good hitters come, coming up, and he got them both five three. Is there anything he did in that situation that opened your eyes? Uh, well, um, the one thing he didn't, he didn't lose his composure and just uh, stay after him and kept that sinker in and, and those right-handers and moved the ball around. Uh, you know, he showed us a lot. We were going for the win right there, and uh, you know, he, he he went through some some good hitters too and that in. When you look back at his first start, you think maybe he was nervous and wasn't doing really himself. Yeah, you know, we don't we don't like to make excuses for the guys, but I mean uh, it's kind of understandable that a guy that is getting his first shot at uh, starting in the big leagues, he gets his first start, on, you know, on the road, and, and he was probably a little bit, you know, nervous. Uh, but you know, tonight he put all that behind, and yeah, you know, this guy has his stuff to uh, to compete for us every five days, and that's why we got him under trade, and you know, that's why he won a starting spot in spring training. The at bats against Burley, obviously, you know, again early on in the game, he was, you know, set you down the first couple innings. But um, better approach tonight than maybe the first time around. Um, I, I, we saw a video from the first night, and you know, opening day, a lot of the kids, uh, you know, were trying to do too much, and we, we stressed that today. But still, you know, Mark goes out there and he knows how to pitch, and you know, use both sides of the plate and change the speed so well. I think today the, what we did uh, better was lay off of the high, fa high fastball because he kept elevating the ball and us in that first game in Chicago. He did it today a little bit, and some of the guys lay off of it. We worked a couple of walks, and you know when, when he made a mistake, you know, we took advantage of it.